Hey guys, I'm on my way to take a look at my wedding venue. You're going to come along and study American English pronunciation in this real life English video. In today's video, we're going to do a listening comprehension quiz on two syllable words. Can you identify which syllable is stressed? Why does it matter? Even if all of the sounds in a word are correct, one must speak with long versus short syllables in order to sound American. One of the main things I work on with advanced students is shortening short syllables. It has an amazing impact on reducing their accent. Let's get started. So, the space that we're getting married in used to be a chocolate factory about a century ago. Getting. What syllable is stressed is longer. Does it sound like dada or da da? Getting. Dada. The space that we're getting married in. We're getting married in. We're getting married in. Married. Dada or da da. Married. Dada. The space that we're getting married in. We're getting married in. We're getting married in. Used to be a chocolate factory. Chocolate. Wait, is this a two syllable or a three syllable word? Chocolate. Chocolate. There are many words in English with first syllable stress that can be pronounced with either two or three syllables. I tend to pronounce them with two. Chocolate. Other examples family, restaurant, chocolate, dada. Used to be a chocolate, chocolate, chocolate factory about a century ago. About. Dada or da da. About. Da da. Used to be a chocolate factory about a century, about a century, about a century ago. Ago. Da da. Or da da. Ago. Da da. Used to be a chocolate factory about a century ago. 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 So, the space that we're getting married in used to be a chocolate factory about a century ago, and now. And now it's a photography studio painted all white with hardwood floors. Painted. Dada. Or da da. Painted. Dada. Painted all, painted all, painted all white with hardwood floors. Hardwood. Dada. Or da da. Hardwood. Dada. This is a compound word. Most compound words have stress on the first word. Compound words are words made by putting two other words together. Other examples, bedroom, keyboard. With hardwood floors, hardwood floors, hardwood floors. It's a little industrial, as you can see. Little, dada, or da da. Little, dada. It's a little industrial, it's a little industrial, it's a little industrial, as you can see. Exposed brick up there. Exposed. Dada or da da. Exposed. Da da. Exposed brick. Exposed brick. Exposed brick up there. Wa um, metal rafters. Metal. Dada or da da. Metal. Dada. 
wa um, metal rafters, metal rafters, metal rafters. Rafters. Dada or dada. Rafters. Dada. Metal rafters, metal rafters, metal rafters. And now it's a photography studio, painted all white, with hardwood floors. It's a little industrial, as you can see. Exposed brick up there. Wa um, metal rafters. This used to be the smokestack of the factory. Smokestack. Another compound word. What does that mean? Stress is probably on the first syllable. Smokestack. Dada. This used to be the smokestack of the smokestack of the smokestack of the factory. And yeah, this is where we're going to do it, where we're going to get married. Gonna. Dada. Or da da. Gonna. Dada. And yeah, this is where we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it, where we're gonna get married. So we came back today. Today. Dada or da da. Today. Da da. So we came back today, 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 so that we could sort of think about decorations and layout. Layout, another compound word. Dada or dada. Layout, dada. Sort of think about decorations and layout, layout, layout. But I'm really excited about the space. Really. Dada or da da. Really. Dada. But I'm really, I'm really, I'm really excited about the space. This used to be the smokestack of the factory. And yeah, this is where. We're going to do it, where we're going to get married. So we came back today so that we could sort of think about decorations and layout. But I'm really excited about the space. Now it gets harder. You won't hear the word on its own slowly outside of the sentence. You'll only hear the word in the sentence. Can you still tell which syllable is stressed? I think, I think these tables come with the space, these high tables. Dada. I think these tables come with the space, these high tables. Yeah. Exciting. Another three-syllable word that I've turned into a two-syllable word. So, I think the tables are going to go here. And the bar is probably going to be somewhere else. Dada. And the bar is probably going to be somewhere else. And the bar is probably going to be somewhere else. Dada is probably going to be somewhere else. We are having alcohol at our wedding. Dada. The ing ending will never be stressed. We are having alcohol at our wedding. We are having alcohol at our wedding. Dada. We are having alcohol at our wedding. Some people choose not to. 
data. Some people choose not to, although most people do. Da da. Although most people do. And we're getting married and having the reception all here in this same space. It used to be really typical to get married in a church, less so now. Most of my cousins have gotten married outside. Dara. Most of my cousins have gotten married outside. Most of my cousins have gotten married outside. Dara. Most of my cousins have gotten married outside. Most of my cousins have gotten married outside. Da da. Outside can actually have stress on either the first or the second syllable, depending on how you're using it. Most of my cousins have gotten married outside. A lot of my friends as well. We can't do that because it's going to be January in Philadelphia. Da da. I could have reduced this further to just cuz cuz We can't do that because it's going to be January in Philadelphia. Um but hopefully this will be just as lovely. Da da Um but hopefully this will be just as lovely. We're going to have lots of candles everywhere, candles, candles, candles. Dara. We're going to have lots of candles everywhere, candles, candles, candles. And um the chocolate that used to be made in this factory. It was the precursor to the Hershey's kiss. Dara. It was the precursor to the Hershey's kiss. It's shaped the same. It's called a Wilbur bud. And we're going to have a lot of those for our guests to enjoy as well. Da da. And we're going to have a lot of those for our guests to enjoy as well. Unless we eat them all before the wedding. Da da. Unless we eat them all before the wedding. Unless we eat them all before the wedding. Da da. Unless we eat them all before the wedding. Which might happen. Da da. which might happen. Um we are going to have a full dinner for our guests. Dara. Um we are going to have a full dinner for our guests. That's pretty typical as well. Dara. That's pretty typical as well. So I guess I'm curious about if you've been married before, what was your wedding like? What was the space like? The venue was it outdoors, indoors? Was it in a church? So let me know in the comments below. So I guess I'm curious about if you've been married before, what was your wedding like? What was the space like? The venue was it outdoors? indoors was it in a church so let me know in the comments below the venue was it outdoors indoors was it in a church so let me know in the comments below let's review all the words with stress on the first syllable dara getting married chocolate painted hardwood little metal 
rafters, smokestack, gonna, layout, really, tables, probably, having, wedding, people, cousins, gotten, lovely, candles, Hershey's, happen, dinner, pretty, venue, comments, outdoors, indoors. Now let's review all the words with stress on the second syllable. Dada, about, ago, exposed, today, although, outside, because, enjoy, unless, before. Many more two-syllable words in English have stress on the first syllable than the second. Was there anything about the pronunciation of a word or a phrase in this video that you found interesting? Next week, I'll release a bonus video with other topics from this trip to the venue. All right, guys, that's it. And thanks so much for using Rachel's English. Click here to see related videos. Links are also in the description below. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe. Either click here or in the description. But don't stop there. Keep learning with my American English in Real Life playlist, my Ben Franklin playlist, or my Word of the Week series. Click on me to check out my channel where there are hundreds of great videos. Don't forget to visit my website where you can learn about my premium membership and online courses.